introducing the Pomeranian, the dog breed known for attracting many aristocrats and for being so popular that even Queen Victoria owned one. After a visit to Florence, Queen Victoria was so smitten with this breed that she returned to Britain with several palms in tow. There are even reports that when the Queen was on her deathbed in 1901, her favorite Pomeranian, Turi, kept vigil at the foot of her bed. If you're interested in this breed, knowing the advantages and disadvantages of this breed is paramount before taking the Pomeranian ownership plunge. There are several pros and cons to owning a Pomeranian, therefore prospective dog owners should carefully consider them. As the saying goes, forewarned is forearmed. Let's face it though, being cute as a button, it is easy to forgive all the issues these little bundles of joy may incur. If some issues though aren't addressed at their earliest onset, they can become more problematic. But knowledge is power, so before getting excited about this breed, learn more about these happy pups so to make an informed decision. The first thing that lures people to these dogs is their appealing looks. Pomeranians are blessed with adorable, smiling, fox-like faces, pricked ears, dark almond-shaped eyes, a thick coat, and a heavily plumed tail. All these traits are testimony of this breed's Nordic descent. In fact, Pomeranians descend from the large sled dog breeds, but it is thanks to Queen Victoria, who selectively bred them to be smaller in size, that today we can carry these dogs around and keep them on our laps. It all started when in 1888, Queen Victoria stumbled on Marco, an especially small Pomeranian, on her trip to Florence, Italy. Marco weighed just about 12 pounds, while most other Pomeranians were regularly closer to 20. Small dogs, after all, are all the rage in these past years. How small are Pomeranians, though? In general, they weigh around 3 to 7 pounds, the perfect size that comes with many perks. Being small, they cost less to feed, board, treat, and generally care for, because they require less food and water, Pomeranian owners don't need to pick up elephant-sized poop piles or dry up pee puddles the size of Lake Michigan. They're also easy to carry around and sometimes they're also allowed on planes in the cabin with you. And you can bring him or her to places where bigger dogs aren't allowed. Best of all, a Pomeranian won't drag you on walks, kill your neighbor's cat, or terrorize your mail carrier. Owners of Pomeranians describe them as being happy-go-lucky dogs who are fun to be with and who brighten your day. They are energetic, but in a flexible way, acting mostly hyper when exciting events take place, but calming down when nothing major is going on. Just make sure to meet this breed's needs to romp around and be a big dog before expecting them to want to cuddle. Gift them with a fuzzy ball to chase or some squeaky toys to waken up their hunting instincts buried within. These dogs also enjoy receiving attention and they love being with their families. Some Pomeranians in particular develop a strong attachment to one person. Another plus is that these fluffy fellows tend to get along with other pets. It's not unusual for a group of them to run around and play together with little or no fuss among even males. Some may be bossy though and may aggravate strange dogs regardless of their size. Owners of this breed describe their dogs as being spunky, bright and vivacious small bundles of joy bringing sunshine into their lives. All dogs are ultimately trainable if you have patience and have some basic skills, but these dogs are particularly brainy, which means that they are smart and you can train them lots of things. When you have a smart dog, however, it can go against you, meaning that they'll use their brains to get into trouble, but you can outsmart them and get them to do what you want. Once you do that, your palm will magically transform and will be eager to learn from you and have fun in the process too. Indeed, many Pomeranians have reached high levels of honor even in the obedience ring and they're quick at learning new tricks. Just make sure to use gentle training techniques with these little fellows 
as it should be with any dog of any size after all. The Pomeranian is categorized into the toy group, which includes several small dog breeds bred down in size for specific tasks or more simply for the purpose of having a pet of a convenient size. While appealing, the diminutive size of these dogs comes at a cost, increased fragility. This doesn't mean they need to live in a bubble, it just means that you need to be extra careful around them. For instance, you can seriously injure a Pomeranian puppy if you accidentally happen to sit on him, fall on him, or drop him when in your arms. A toddler or clumsy child may easily stumble on these small dogs and their loud voices and unpredictable movements can cause stress and fear in the long run. With older children, these dogs tend to fare well as long as they're old and mature enough to tell the difference between a stuffed animal and a live dog. Even on their own, Pomeranians are at risk for injuries jumping off of high furniture. When walking your small dog, you always have to be extra vigilant to make sure no large dogs try to attack him. All it takes is a quick grab and shake to potentially injure or even kill a small dog. While it's true that this breed can be quite fragile due to their size, overall, on the plus side, despite their fluffy looks, Pomeranians are rather rustic dogs blessed with overall good health. Perhaps the biggest issue in this breed is the predisposition for luxating patellas. However, if you get one from a reputable breeder who health tests for this orthopedic problem, you can lower the chances of yours developing this condition. Another issue that is common in small dogs is tracheal collapse. Make sure to use a harness rather than a collar to prevent this. These small dogs also tend to have crowded teeth enclosed in a small mouth and require regular toothbrushing. One of the biggest plus sides of this breed is their long lifespan. The average lifespan of Pomeranians is around 15 years, but it's not unheard of for some of them to live even up to 18 or even 20 years. Don't be fooled by this breed's fluffiness and repetition of being a lap dog. Pomeranians are keen watchdogs who take their job very seriously. You can literally see their ears twitching even when they seem to have fallen asleep. These dogs are quick to sound the alarm at every suspicious encounter. This can make them somewhat troublesome for those living in condos and close-knit neighborhoods. We can't blame them though. If we look at their past history, these fluffy dogs have Spitz heritage in their blood and their ancestors pulled sleds and sounded the alarm if intruders were detected. Fortunately, these barking tendencies can be toned down just a notch for those willing to socialize their Pomeranians as puppies and spend some time to train them to ignore certain stimuli and hold their tongues, so to say. Pomeranians are smart and determined dogs. When they want something, they'll be persistent and won't give up easily. Even though often this is due to a human's flaw of not being able to say no to those cute faces and adorable tactics these dogs use to get what they want. You are eating, Pomeranians will look at you adoringly or they will engage in some cute circus stunts in hope of you giving in. If you happen to give in and give them a little piece of your food, you are doomed. They will turn into your tableside companion for life. And if you don't give them what they want because you have decided to toughen up your rules, they will escalate to pawing at you, barking at you, and trying to get a morsel of food from different people on different sides of the table. Small dogs pose some extra challenges in the potty training department. The biggest problem is that being so low and small, it's easy for them to just sneak behind the couch or table to do the deed. Small puddles may go unnoticed for hours or even days if you're not attentive. Uncleaned areas make your home smell like a doggy bathroom, so don't be surprised if your Pomeranian will want to soil in the same places over and over. Fortunately, there are several things you can do to heighten your chances for success. First of all, avoid scruff shakes. 
putting your Pomeranian's nose in his mess, or scolding your Pom Puppy for having accidents in the home. This approach just teaches your dog to hide to pee and poop. Instead, always supervise your pup. Learn to recognize early signs your puppy needs to go potty, and upon noticing any of them, take your puppy to his designated area and praise and reward lavishly for going there. Yay. When you can't actively supervise your puppy, keep it in a crate for no more than he can hold it, or for the longer absences, put him in an indoor designated area, like a small bathroom or playpen, with an area covered with some pee pads in case he needs to potty. Also, learn how to clean messes properly. Use an enzyme-based cleaner like Nature's Miracle to clean and neutralize odors and invest in the black light to find any old messes. While you're at it, every time you take your Pomeranian puppy outside to potty, aim to teach him to go potty on command. Many people imagine Pomeranians as the average small dog who loves to be carried in a purse and who will warm your laps for hours on end. Well, not so fast. They are different from the average small dogs considering that they descend from sled dogs and have Spitz heritage just like Huskies, Alaskan Malamutes, and Akitas. Pomeranians, therefore, have an independent streak and may even enjoy chasing little critters. Given the choice, Pomeranians may rather roll in disgusting stuff, eat gross things found on the ground, and dig rather than stay on your lap, or they may do all of that in a sequence to your dismay. Courtesy of their heritage, they're also quite energetic despite their size. Their piston-like legs propel them at full speed around the home. You'll need to find ways to keep these balls of energy busy. Make sure to have lots of toys, food puzzles, and time to keep their brains and bodies busy. The Pomeranian's glorious coat comes with a price. You'll need extra time for coat care if you want to avoid annoying mats and to minimize shedding, which can be particularly heavy at certain times of the year. The good news is that all you really need is to brush the coat daily and provide a bath every now and then. Occasional trimming may be needed, but only if the groomer or veterinarian recommends it. Just because Pomeranians were cherished by aristocratic ladies doesn't mean they're a cross between a teddy bear and a dog. They will roll in cow poop, given the opportunity, and don't mind puddles or dirt staining their luxurious coats. On the plus side though, you'll be surprised at how easy it is to clean their coats when wet and dirty, almost like a self-cleaning oven. One skin condition worthy of mentioning in this breed is black skin disease, a genetic skin condition known to turn this dog's skin black and to cause hair to fall off. Did you know, in 1912, two Pomeranians were among the only three dogs known for surviving the sinking of the Titanic. Their small size might have made it easier for their owners to sneak them into their lifeboats. Some fun facts about the breed. Pomeranians were originally Spitz dogs weighing about 30 pounds, a far cry from that small puff of fur we know today. Their name derives from their home country Pomerania, now part of northern Poland and Germany. Pomeranians attracted many aristocrats and popular people, including Michelangelo, Mozart, and Isaac Newton. Please like us and subscribe for more fascinating dog discoveries.